Hello, and this video is going to be about Plex and how to install it on NASes like 423, 223, and upcoming DS123 or DS124 with Realtek CPU simply because the app is not created yet on these machines. So, we're going to dig in and try to do that with uh, Docker or Portainer. So, tune in. I'm going to zoom out, I'm going to show you on screen instructions how to properly do it. So first of all, we need to install DSM 7.2. It's out of beta now. It's a release candidate, so it's as good as um, official version, effectively. So go to the website, Synology DSM, download it, install it. You'll see Container Manager there in Package Manager. It's uh, Docker renamed. Install that, because you will need that to install your Plex. So go to uh, this app, go to Registry option, search for Plex, look for Linux Server Plex, download that, and once it's done, you'll need to choose the latest option, let it download properly, and, um, and before you run it, go to Docker, create a folder for your Plex, so where you're going to keep your media file, uh, config files, you can also create a folder for media, but then you can run the Plex server, I'll click next. Make sure all the ports are there. The most important is 32400. Zero, zero. That's the Plex port. You'll need to add these folders in Docker. So you give permission for Docker to access certain folders for Plex. So that's your config folder. So you name it config. This is how it's going to be seen in, in Docker. And the second thing we need is media. So you can create movies folder if you haven't created in that folder already. Uh, link that as movies and give it read-only permission. You can go through all the settings, have a look if everything is correct. And you may add claim code from um, Plex. So this, this server could be linked uh, with your account. If you have multiple uh, media ser Plex servers, this could be handy to do so. So you can claim it with Plex claim variable, paste that in, um, and then go through the settings and change to host. That's important. Network type is host, and that's about it. Click um, next, done. And it's going to take a few seconds to start up. So you could start using it. Green light means it's all running and it's all fine. Um, you can um, stop it, restart it, duplicate it, export it, whatever you want to do. Go through the settings. If you want to change settings, you'll need to stop the server. But otherwise, now you can go to your IP address, which is your Synology or you know, whatever NAS IP. Use your ports 32400 and uh, you're going to be getting into your Plex server. So you can link your folders um, if you want to, or um, you can change any settings. You can play your videos, change from direct streaming to transcoding options. You'll see that if it's transcoded, it's going to use um, a lot of resources, hardware resources. Otherwise, if you play direct stream, you'll see that it's going to drop and uh, it's going to be a more efficient way to play these uh, files locally, but you can see you can also access this remotely. The NAS can be powerful enough to transcode your videos. And you can also check that in Docker, all the settings. You can disable transcoding by default if you want to, or you just choose a different option for where it transcodes, if you use old hardware or not. So you can go into Plex uh, folder uh, if you want to if it doesn't, if it buffers and stuff, uh, go download preferences folder and uh, add a WAPI driver there. Um, you can use any editor you want to. All you need to do is, you don't need to do this if you have any issues with your Plex server. If you do, add this WAPI driver i965, and this should uh, solve the problem. And then you can then um, upload the file. Make sure you have a backup of this preferences XML before you make any changes, so you can always upload the previous version if you mess up something. If you have firewall, go into firewall and open ports, 
for the um, container which we will need we will need to use this later on also enable uh, SSH because now we're going to head into Portainer way of installing Plex so enable SSH open the ports for the Portainer go into terminal and then SSH into your NAS which is going to be your username and your IP address of your NAS you'll need to uh, type in the password there and type in this command sudo docker run which I'm going to add to the description and let it install the Portainer. Portainer is just a management app for docker so first time install you'll need to create username and password it's nothing special it's just a um, more efficient easier way to install things through Portainer. it allows you more configuration and things like that so you'll need to go into this IP address and port 9000 choose your local docker choose your server and stacks are the things you're going to be installing containers is going to be running things so you need claim code from Plex again if you need ID you just go into terminal type ID this is how you're gonna you don't need to do this but this is simplify things to have access rights folders so this is a code you can um, you'll be using pasting I'll add this to description you go to Portainer, add stack and uh, web editor you'll give a name to your Plex server paste in uh, the code you can change your claim code there if you if you wanted to you can also um, add this ID for the access rights make sure those uh, two uh, volumes are correct for the configuration and the media and then just click deploy and it's all done it's all installed you can go to IP address again of your server with a Plex port and do initial setup by giving a name linking with your folders um, adding library all you need to do is just choose if you want to add films or series and then you can browse for the folder if you haven't created folder you can go back to your Plex um, folder docs docker Plex create movies if you haven't created that already um, and then you can paste some video files in there this is going to simplify things if it's everything is in the docker folder it's much easier to access there's no issues sometimes you might see issue that you don't see any files in the folder but this if you place it into Plex folder into docker folder it'll always work scan it and all the files will appear you can play them you can try to if you want to link with uh, any other folder outside the docker plex you can go to permission control make sure the guest is enabled go to um, local groups make sure users has read-only access or even HTTP this will give docker access to this folder obviously give it just read-only no write option click save and this should be enough for that uh, Plex server to see this new folder so go to manage folders you can add it or uh, add new folder if you have several uh, then click browse go to your movies folder which is outside the docker uh, and you will see all your files there or you can just use your Plex folder it's up to you really so this is really it now you know how to install Plex uh, on your docker using Portainer or docker directly if you have any questions you can always go to NASCAM first there's a form on the right hand side you can ask questions there or you can uh, um, join our discord server and um, or even forum and other people can help you as well so I hope this was helpful and cheerio